Coming up, Austin had a snowpocalypse. The Mac turned 30, and I am getting things done. How, you ask? Well, stick around and find out. Uh, yeah. I'm opening a virtual doorknob into my mind. Oh, hey, look what's in here. Bam. The cedar trees have finished. Celebrate good times. I can breathe. Whoa. So I'll forgive uh, some of you non-Texans for not knowing this, but we had kind of a, a minor snow apocalypse here in Austin uh, this past Friday. It, uh, you know, we woke up and there was sleet on the ground everywhere and ice on most of the roads. And when that happens in Texas, the rare times that it happens, nobody knows what to do. So everybody pretty much stays home and makes little snowmen. I actually did venture out on the roads and they were not very populated with anyone because apparently everyone was scared by the ice and so they were more safe. My trusty cardigo got me over to, uh, to Mozart's coffee and uh, Mozart's looked beautiful. And I took a few photos. It was a lot of fun. What? I read The Difference Engine over the last couple of weeks and I finished it this week. It's by William Gibson and Bruce Sterling and I can't really tell which parts are whose. Um, I didn't love it, but I, it, it was a pretty good novel and it's it's the quintessential steampunk, so you gotta. And there was a lot of uh, Texian stuff in there. Sam Houston, kind of a badass. More! This past Monday, I went to the Elephant Room, which is a uh, like a basement jazz club here in Austin that has apparently been here for a very long time. We have a kind of a famous jazz musician who was from here called Tony Campisi, whose cremated remains uh, are in a little thing above the stage. As I understand it, local jazzers will just go in there, uh, they sign up, there's a guy that keeps track of everybody who wants to play, and you get up and play as good or bad or great as you are. I sat there for four hours watching pretty good jazz and sometimes like really good jazz. If you're ever in Austin, check it out. Two thumbs up, way up. I like this. Some of you may know this, but uh, one of the many things that I do is uh, run a nonprofit computer museum. We have a, an upcoming project that required a few old power books, and uh, I uh, bid one on one on eBay, and it came in the other day, and it just was fully loaded with all the retro software. Word, Excel, FileMaker, Quark Express, and this this really funny like uh, system performance testing tool that had like oscilloscope readouts, and and I, I really like vintage computers. And on a totally related note, this past week was the 30th anniversary of the Macintosh. Aww. To uh, celebrate, I found myself in the Apple Store on that anniversary to get my MacBook Pro repaired, and uh, there was a new Mac Pro there, which I just now got this. Basically, the new Mac Pro is the 30th anniversary Mac. I just spent like an hour using the Apple uh, 3D Maps tool to explore the world. And there's a lot of really cool mountains out there. Yeah. So I've always been kind of an organized person, but never like really organized. And I've never really had a definable system. So I'm getting one. I am finally reading Getting Things Done by David Allen. I've been reading it and just devouring it. Best part came this past Thursday when I did the uh, the onboarding process at the beginning of it where you just take everything that's in your mind right now, a little wandering, miscellaneous, unorganized thoughts and just put them down somewhere. And I, I wrote them all as Evernote entries. There were 197 things that had just been floating around up here. I'm now working through the phase of actually processing them where they should go, but but that brief few hours after I just dumped everything out of my mind was blissful. Wow, that was a lot of things, right? Seven things that I like about my last week. Transcript, links, all those good things are in the doobly-doo as always, and this stapler from the 1960s that used to belong to my grandfather and is still working after 50 years is awesome. You should subscribe. Well, my coffee's almost gone, so it's about that time. I will see y'all next week. Follow me, at me, reply to me. I will reply back and engage, and oh, I just, I love y'all. See y'all next time.